Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, we're here to talk about this uh, Kexmo knife. I was not familiar with uh, Kexmo. Uh, they sent out this knife to me in exchange for a review. Uh, so it comes in a box like this, and these guys sell mostly through their uh, Amazon store. And I have to tell you that I was pleasantly surprised. I, I didn't know what to expect, and I had no preconceived notions about the knife at all. So just one of those things that uh, I would, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I do have a link in my uh, description box for Kexmo. Uh, right now, this knife I'm gonna show you uh, right here. This is their black uh, pocket knife that is in ebony wood and D2 steel. Uh, right now, the price on these on Amazon is uh, $28.79, and I have 10% uh, off with that link. And they do make a couple other models that you can check out there too that have uh, lighter colored wood if you prefer that. But I decided to go with this all blacked out version because I just wanted to kind of see, you know, how it was uh, and everything. And I can tell you that I've been carrying this thing since last week, and I really like it. Everything is rounded over and uh, chamfered. So there's no hot edges or anything, and it just feels like a, like a well-worn uh, bar of soap. I mean, nothing is uh, poking or uncomfortable. The pocket clip is where you start to see, like what I said, you know, attention to detail, because you do have the, uh, you know, it's not quite countersunk, but it's flat heads in there. It's not the big button uh screws you know so this fits in my pocket it just slides right on and it's no problem i like the uh, look of the ebony wood it's uh really nice and warm to the touch as you can see it's a liner lock you can see the liner right there it does have a lanyard hole and there's some uh, jimping here and it is a uh, flipper tab but also i can spidey flick it with uh with the uh little thumb hole that's there, or you can use it to slow roll out. The blade is made of D2 steel, and it, it came just razor sharp. I mean, it's crazy sharp. I have cut through uh, several boxes, some envelopes, some puff packaging, and it just goes through everything like butter. So really, really good that way. It's got some really uh, nice jimping here. It's not too aggressive, but it's not too uh, soft if that makes sense. It is comfortable. It's still, you can get all four fingers on here, but it's not uh, a long knife, you know, so it's not gonna go all the way out of your hand. Uh, action on it is just crazy uh, smooth. It's just, you know, fidget factor is there. Uh, this thing is on ceramic bearings. So it's uh, definitely, uh, let me see if I can get this to go. With a spidey flick, I cut my uh, nails today, so it's uh, not as easy as they when it was longer, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, uh, like I said, what we're looking there we go. What we're looking at is a D2 blade that's uh, three inches long. Your cutting edge is just a little short of that uh, three inch mark. Uh, we have a coated blade. I don't know what the coating is. I don't know if it's uh, some kind of a, a paint. It's not uh, like a DLC coating. It's not, it doesn't feel like that. Uh, we have a four inch handle at seven inches overall length. Uh, like I said, just a really nice uh, EDC blade. If, you know, nice swedging on the, uh, on the blade also. If you're just looking for something that you know you can put into your pocket and it looks good and uh, can do the job for you i think uh, this is definitely something to look at uh just so you guys know the 10 percent off it does not uh as far as i know it doesn't give me any credit or anything like that it's just for just for you guys to go look at so you know if you use it or, or not that's that's your decision but you can get some some money off it's uh actually Quite a fun little knife. I I enjoy the heck out of it. I think uh, I think you will too. 
So, you know, give it a look. If you like the look of an of a all-black knife, uh, especially, you know, the ebony, I just think it's just such a, such a classy touch. Uh, certainly, this would make a great gift. Uh, good stuff. But, uh, like I said, we'll see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these Kexmo knives. Like I said, I never had anything uh, as far as, you know, they weren't on my radar or anything until uh, just recently. And I think it's a, it's a really neat, really neat knife. Uh, one that definitely uh, you should look at for, for a good budget EDC. Anyways, that's all I got for this one. And I will definitely see you back here for Fixed Blade Friday. It's coming up, guys. We're halfway through the week. Don't quit now. We got this. I'll talk to you later.